welcome everyone and thanks for stopping by to watch this video. In this tutorial I'd like to go through the process of adding a Google form to your website. So in the past uh, if you wanted to gather information from your, a visitor to your website you wanted them to respond back to you or send information back to you you would create a form and then hook it up to a database on your web server. Uh, of course that is the most common way it's still done but for us that are new to web design, uh, that is probably a little bit too much uh, to get into here. So instead, I'm going to use a tool from Google, uh, part of their Google Documents, Google Docs uh, setup here that allows us to do um, something really similar. Not quite as fancy, um, but much quicker. In just a few minutes, I can have a, a form up and running that, and on my website that my visitors can uh, type in information, send it, it comes back to me and in this case it'll come back into Google Docs into a spreadsheet. So if I was using this for, I could use it for students to uh, sign up to do different things during class, I could use it for book reports, I could use it as a contact form on my website so when a parent came or a student came to my website if they wanted to uh, give me some information, leave me a comment or contact me, uh, they could just fill out the form, hit submit, and it would come into my spreadsheet and I'd have to come and look at it. It doesn't, it doesn't, this isn't set up to send it in an, in an email. So let's go ahead and get to it. So I've got my website up here. Um, now, before I go to Google and build this form, I need to create a spot for um, this form to exist. So already, already here in my HTML folder, I've got a page called Contact Me. So I'm going to open that up. So I would like that form to basically show up right here. So my visitor could just come and, and, uh, and fill it out and submit it to me. Okay, so that's what I'm going to uh, create here. Okay, so I'm going to go to Google here. So I've logged into my Google account and I'm in my Google Docs, my Google Documents section. And Google Docs, of course, there's three tool basic tools in here. There's a spreadsheet program, there's a word processing program, and a presentation program. Uh, a great tool. I'm not going to get into all the details here. Um, I just want to get right to creating a form. So I'm going to come down here to the new, and you can see the different things I can do new. I'm going to create a new form, which is kind of a subset of the spreadsheet category here. All right, so click on new form, and now comes up the tool for me to uh, create these. So it treats each one of these fields as a question basically. So I'm going to put a title here. So this is a uh, my contact form and I can put information here. This is just a little spot here for me to put in instructions. Um, so I might just type in a little bit here. Fill out this uh, form to send me a message. Okay, and luckily it has a little spell checker built into it. All right. Okay, so now I'm ready to start adding some fields. So the first field that comes up already pre-made here is a place for someone to put in their name. I'll leave that there. Um, if I wanted to edit it, I could come over here to the left. I can delete it if I don't want a name field, or I can edit what's there. And I'm going to make this required so that when somebody uh, comes, they have to fill this out. Okay, that's the first one done. You can see there's a second question in here, and I'd like that to be their email address, so I'm going to edit that one, and I want this to be email. Okay, and um, it's just plain text. That's the kind of a question it is, meaning I just want people to write their uh, email address in there, and I want to make this required as well. Because if someone is willing to send me a message, if they want a response back, I'm going to really need their email address. Okay, so I have name, email address, and now I want to add uh, a spot for them to put their student's name. So if it's a parent here, um, they need to let me know what's, what, what their student name is. So I'm going to do click on add a question up here, and it says what kind would you like to add. In this case, it's just plain text. <clears throat> and I'm going to put student's name. And just plain text, gonna make that also required. Say done. So now I've got three fields to fill out, and this little red asterisk means that that's required. Um, now I want a place for them to fill out uh, 
to actually put the comment that they want to leave me and I want more room for that so that's going to be a paragraph text so there's more space for them and I might just write in here comment or comments okay and I'll make that required as well and say done all right so I've got four four parts of this form to fill out um, I'm going to add one more here um, so you can just see some of the different kinds of things I want uh, them to be able to choose from a list because I want them to tell me how they would like me to contact them so uh, I'm going to say how like me to con or to reply question mark um, so option one is going to be email option two is going to be phone and I'll put a place for their um, phone number and um, option three will be uh, a meeting and then we'll have to decide on some way to set that up so they're going to choose from that list and I'm going to make that required as well and if I ask if one of their options here was to, to choose phone I need a spot for them to put their phone in so one more in here so this is just going to be a place for the phone number and just plain text and I'm not going to make this required because if they're um, I don't want to make them leave their phone number if they want me to contact them by email um, and I might even I want the email one to show up lower down okay so well, maybe a little lower okay and then maybe if I'm going to uh, contact them I'm gonna I'm gonna not make the email one so they'll pick which one they want me to how they want me to contact them and then they will leave uh, either their email address or their phone number okay so the forms about done I'm gonna take off this one that says meeting because that doesn't make sense okay so now I've created this little form I'm gonna save it so I've got this um, save this changed okay so the form exists now I want this to show up on my website okay this form right here uh, now there's a bunch of options for this form you could email it to someone uh, so it would come in their email there's also if you look along the bottom of the page this form is published already there's the URL for it let me just open that up you can see what it looks like um, okay so there's what the form looks like um, pretty generic but it will be just perfect for my use what I'd really like though is for this form to show up on one of my pages so up here under more actions I can go to embed and you can see it gives me a, 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 a string of HTML it's already selected so now I just need to copy it so Apple C or control C alright I've got that now I'm going to go back to Dreamweaver here's my contact me page and I want this to show up right in this spot so I'm just going to highlight that text and by highlighting it here, highlighting it here in the design view <coughs> when I go to the code view that same piece will be highlighted so that will make it possible for me to get this code that I've copied into the right spot so I'm just going to paste it in there okay so I've pasted it in there now I'm going to go back to the design view now it's not going to show up here inside of Dreamweaver I can kind of see this green this uh, this gray box that shows up where it's going to show up is when this goes to the to the browser and I'll, I can get a good preview of it here even um, without uploading these to the web server so there's my form let's just test it once so my name is Tim my student's name is Peter I'd like you to comment uh, contact me via email I can put in my comments here okay and if I want to be contacted via email I'm gonna have to put in an email address let me just type some stuff in and might as well put in my phone number also okay so this is just what my visitor would be doing it would be filling out this form and once they filled it out here I they push submit it gives them a little message that says thanks your response will now appear in my spreadsheet now that message right there I can actually um, edit that um, but that's the, f the form worked now if I go back um, here I've got a new form here 
I just want to see what it looks like where I, where I got the responses. Okay, This is what the form looks like when I'm building it. But if I want to see the actual responses, and I just submitted one, um, I can go here inside of my Google Docs account. There's the contact form. And it's going to look more like a spreadsheet. Okay, So there's the spreadsheet that comes up. And there are the fields that I've asked um, my visitors to fill out. So now uh, I would have to log in to see this. It's not going to come in my email. Uh, but I can see, oh, you know, a parent named Tim with a student named Peter wants me uh, to contact them via email. Here's their comment, and there's the email address and their phone number. Okay, so that came right into this spreadsheet. This is a, a, a good basic spreadsheet program here. It's all online. If I w needed this uh, data that I had gathered via this form uh, to be able to manipulate it a little bit more, uh, Google Docs does allow me. Um, to export this uh, right out into um, Excel form. So I could export that out, download it to my computer. You can see the other things that I can get out of here as well and get it out of the PDF. So pretty flexible tool here, but um, the great thing is that it allows me to create a form and to get that out to my website so it looks like it's really showing up. Uh, it's really part of my website now. That form really only exists in one spot, but it's getting it's coming into my website via the code that I embedded onto my page. Um, I just wanted to show one more thing. Uh, this the little confirmation message that popped up after I'd filled that out. Oh, right over there under more actions, there's the embed. That's where I got the code. But the next thing down, edit confirmation. So if you wanted to say something else instead of this. Uh, you can edit it right here. So you could say thanks. Um, I will uh, get back to you as soon as possible. And maybe that's it. Okay, so now when somebody submits it, they're going to see this message. And that's how you create a form in Google Documents and embed it into your website. And you can gather all sorts of data this way. Almost any type of a survey form that you think up, you can get your visitors, your students to submit information back to you very easily in just a super short time. So thanks for watching.